Inside several bones of the body, a sponges tissue, the bone marrow, produces all the blood cells in a process called hematopoiesis. There, pluripotent stem cells proliferate and differentiate into red blood cells, platelets, and white blood cells. Most white blood cells stem from common progenitors, the myeloblasts, which proliferate and ultimately differentiate into eosinophils, basophils, neutrophils, or monocytes. In acute myeloid leukemia, myeloblasts don't differentiate anymore and keep proliferating. They invade the bone marrow and eventually spread into the bloodstream. In AML patients, myeloblasts expansion causes a shortage of red blood cells, platelets or functional white blood cells and results in anemia, impaired coagulation and a deficient defense against infections. Hybrogenics Pharma is developing Inacalcitol, a vitamin D receptor agonist for the treatment of AML. Inacalcitol acts at the level of DNA transcription in the nucleus of myoblasts. Inacalcitol induces the expression of CD38, a specific target for other drugs, at the surface of myeloblasts. The cells also start secreting catholicidin, an antimicrobial peptide helping fight infections. Markers of myeloblasts are progressively replaced by markers of functional monocytes. After this differentiation process, myeloblasts do not proliferate anymore and become monocyte-like cells in the bloodstream. They may even move into adjacent tissues and become microphage-like cells that fight infections. Hybrogenics Pharma is studying the efficacy of inacalcitol in AML in combination with dacetabine, a drug which unmasks latent vitamin D receptors. The anti-proliferative and pro-differentiation properties of inacalcitol are the basis of its therapeutic potential in hemato-oncology.